Hey there, everyone. I'm Eddie O'Donnell here at Snow Joe. Welcome into the stream. Great to see some folks here already, ta already tabbing in. Welcome. And today we have a fun little show for you planned. It is our blower buying guide. As you can see, I got three blowers over here, but if we cut to the other angle there, you'll see how many blowers we have in front of us. We're going to talk about a lot of different ways for everyone out there to get everything cleaned up in the yard and garden when it comes to blowers, blower vac, mulchers, putting greens in the chat here saying what's up, what's up to you as well. Thank you so much for joining us here appreciate you saying hi down in the chat there here on tiktok i love the fact that you've been tapping in those likes we love hearing those likes that's right let's get the cfms going with these blowers right here we love the likes coming in there from the viewers there we do appreciate that buddy green so much so definitely if you're all out there watching this and you're enjoying the likes there uh you're enjoying the show sending those likes like just like putting greens down in the chat here on tiktok if you're watching on youtube go ahead and give us that thumbs up don't forget as well to follow us here on tiktok at the at the uh, snow joe co channel on tiktok as well as the go with joe channel on youtube you want to be subscribed to that channel to take a look at some of the fun things that we're talking about now we are diving in to a really, really cool sort of segment right here. We're talking about all the different things that you want to look at when you're looking for a blower. And as you can see here, we really have just about every blower that you need, no matter what the situation is when it comes to your home, yard, garden area. You got a lot of different coverage that you can make uh, that you can make possible with these kind of blowers that you have right here, all the way from cordless options to corded options. And you can see right in front of me here, we've got our powerful selection of blower vac mulchers. So a lot of different options options here to make sure that when you're out there in the yard and garden, you can kind of get everything done all together here very, very easily. Now, all right. So Putting Greens is asking one really important question, CFMs. That's the main spec that you want to hear um, on top of the, you know, in terms of the power there. All right. So this is going to be something for everyone to hear out there. There's going to be three main features that you're going to be hearing about for all these blowers miles per hour, CFM, and the total amount of power that these draw, or for example, the blower vac mulchers right here, the amount of shredding that they can do. So great point right there, putting greens with the different blowers here. We're gonna have different CFM ratings. We're gonna have different air speeds coming out of each one to tackle all the different jobs that you might have to throw at the wind here, literally. So why don't we take uh, why don't we take uh, you know, a start at the, at the blowers that we have down over here. I wanna start off with some of uh, sort of the, uh, with some of the small are sort of lighter weight but corded blowers that we have here in the in the lineup now the reason we're going to start with these lightweight corded blowers here is we're talking about a lot of power even in this setup right here to get a lot of stuff cleaned up overall you know one of the other things that i like about our corded blowers here is that uh, for all of them including the blower vac mulch that we'll talk about here in a little bit is they all have ways to make sure you stay plugged in because i think everyone else knows this just like i do when you're walking around with a corded blower one of the hardest things to do is keep that baby plugged in well this right here with all the blowers you see in front of us here whether it's you know when it's a corded blower or a blower vac mulch right here you've got a way to make sure you stay plugged in every single time we don't worry we got you covered for that we know that that's a we know that that's a trouble there so why don't we start off why don't we go big to small here in terms of overall power we can start off with our sbj 597e now this is a compact lightweight blower right here as you can see this is super lightweight weighs in at under five pounds here nice and small here with that six amp electric motor that we have right here so a six amp electric motor a lot of power that this has for its size and about 156 miles an hour worth of wind speed coming out of this blower. Now, here is the, here's the spec that I know putting green really wants to know here, how much CFM in terms of the air, in terms of the airflow coming out here. And you have uh, just about 300 CFM coming out of a blower like this. And this is around 280 CFM in terms of air pouring out of this blower right here to get a lot of stuff dried up with. Now, this is a really good point here from putting greens in the chat. They're saying these blowers here are going to be amazing for drying off cars after washing and cleaning up lawn clippings after this off the sidewalk there you're absolutely right these blowers here are perfect for both of those tasks and as you know i'm sure putting greens out there uh that the cfm is really about how much you're moving versus how fast you're moving things with the miles per hour there so that's really a great sort of a great way to sort of divvy that up here and this is a perfect blower for a lot of different things you know cleaning off your car again drying things off cleaning off any other dirt and debris this is great for getting into the workshop for example one thing that i like about this we have a two-piece blower tube here so we can actually shorten up that blower tube we take off one of those tubes we can actually make this nice and compact here and do sort of a shorty there this is also great to store up because this really gets nice and compact here if you take the entire front blower tube section off look at how compact that is this is all easy to store on a shelf here now when you put this back together here 
snap that back together. You look on the back of the blower right here, and you're going to see this with a lot of our blowers here as we continue to talk about corded blowers. You're going to see this little hook system. This is going to be the way that your blower stays plugged in. It's a little thing, but it goes a really long way. You can see that little hook in there. You can see that little sort of loop on the outside here. That's going to hold that electrical cord here. So I have an electrical cord that I'm going to pull up over here. And you can see that this electrical cord will plug, will, will, you know, will plug into the pigtail here. But if you're walking around, that can un come unplugged pretty easily. And if you are doing something like the leaves or the, you know, or the uh, grass clippings in your sidewalk there, you are worried about coming unplugged, you know, every five feet or anything like that that you're walking there. Take a look at this. With all of our corded blowers here, we have this hook system where we slide that cord in. We make a loop like that. We slide that into the cord, our cord into that hook right there. We snap it into that hook just like that, and then we can plug that in. And that's going to hold that cord plugged into that. Uh, plugged into that blower right there no matter what wherever we go now we are going to stay plugged in when it comes to doing that kind of work now one of the things that i really love about this compact blower i love the shape of the handle there it's got that nice sort of grip there where you can point it from the back there and kind of point it what you need there great to hold it from the top and hold it down low to get a lot of to get a lot of cleaning done there so i definitely love that capability you have right here with this amazing blower so this is, and uh, you know, this is as we're sort of going through the blowers here, definitely one of, in terms of our corded blowers, one of the more sort of compact, lighter models that we have here. Very lightweight, very easy to get a lot of stuff done here. But let's let's take it up a step here. We have two directions that we can go into. We have high speed on the left here, and we have high CFM on the right here. Let's take a look at our CFM beast right here. This is an incredible blower here. This is our JB405. Now, this is an incredible jet blower that we have right here, and that's based on the kind of engine that we have here in this blower producing that air. You can see got that large opening here, about a two-inch size opening that we have right there. And what's great about this, this is a five-speed selector up on top here, so really customizable in terms of control here, in terms of the amount of air that we have flowing out of this. And you can see that size means we're producing a lot of air and a lot of air speed as well. Now, here's the thing. With that five-speed control here, we're producing about 135 miles an hour. So we're not getting any, we're not getting anything overly powerful in terms of the amount of air speed coming out of here. But what we are getting is 450. 40 CFM out of this blower right here. And this is in a blower here that weighs in at around six pounds. So still super lightweight, super convenient to grab, easy to control that speed with. But with all that airflow that you have coming out here, you're moving all of the grass leaves that you see in front of you, all the grass blades and the, all the leaves that you see in front of you here. And that's the thing about that CFM is that you're moving more air. So we may be moving things at 135 miles an hour and have, but we have that control for it. And on top of that, we have that incredible output that we have right here for this blower, which I absolutely love. That high output of air, we're moving so much with this kind of blower right here, we're getting more work done. So actually, in my opinion right here, one of the best blowers here to help drive your car because you're moving more air around. You don't necessarily need that high speed, but that high CFM, 440 CFM, this bulks you up right there with our JB450E. So really great design with this. Again, you can see on the back right here, we've got that loop and hook system for our electrical cord to keep everything plugged in. This one is on the pigtail here for this design. So you're gonna slide that electrical cord in, hook it into that little hook there, and you are good to keep that plugged into your blow here. Love the design that you have here for this. It makes it really convenient there with that five-speed control to get a lot of air flowing, as you can see right here. You can see that nice large opening that you have right there and we'll see if we can get down the barrel here see if you can see through that there you, go. you can begin to see that jet design right there the way that you see that turbine jet design there to really give a lot of air flowing out of this really great design with this blower here you can see this is a bit of a thicker blower a bit wider but again that's again for moving more air so really great design here with this now Let's kick it up in speed terms right here with our SBJ701E. Now, this is an incredible, incredible design here when it comes to blowing away all of the heavy stuff that you might have around. Because this blower here, we've got 135 miles an hour here at 440 CFM. We've got, uh, we've got 150 miles an hour over here with that middle blower here. But right here, we have 240. 15 miles an hour worth of power coming out of this blower here in terms of the amount of speed that you're producing here. And you're moving a lot of air with this as well. Again, once again, you're moving around 300 CFM here with this blower. And the power that you have is all in a very lightweight blower. This weighs in at less than five pounds. It's four and a half pounds, give or take right here. This is a powerful way to get a lot of stuff cleaned up. And one of the things about that extra kick and power that you have with this 215 miles an hour right here is this is now going to easily move some sear 
seriously heavy stuff. Even the snow off of your car, for example, if you get fresh snow, light, fluffy snow here, this is going to actually burst a lot of it out of the way there with the ease of that high speed output. Now, even to kick up the speed, here's a great little feature that we have on this blower. If you look at that nose right there, that nose has what we call a reducer cap. That reducer cap kicks up the airspeed for this. We can actually take that off by lifting up that flap. We can slide that off. There we go. And you can see right there, we get a bit, we get a boost of actual air flowing through this. We get a little less speed, but we get a little more airflow right there. So this kicks us up to a little over 300 CFM right here. So it gives you a lot more air flowing through that. And of course, with that, you can kick up that speed for that sort of heavier material that you might have there. I see putting greens with the big blower over here. That's pretty good at 440 CFM. You're absolutely right. That is a pretty, pretty sweet amount of air that we've got going on there. A lot of air flowing through that blower right there. But again, Remember, the difference is going to be between the CFM and the speed. You're going to have to sort of play that balance game here. Now, here's the other cool thing about this blower right here is that this blower has a two-speed control. So not as controllable as the, as the multi-speed, but you get both of the speeds that you really need here. 215 miles an hour at speed two right there for that full output power there to get a lot of stuff cleaned up. It's really good for moving heavy stuff, rocks, debris, and all that kind of stuff, wet leaves. Now, you can kick it down to 150 miles an hour just by kicking that switch down in the middle there. And that gives you a more controllable airspeed there, particularly if you're going into your garage or something like that to tidy things up. Really love that easy control here that you have with that. And once again, on the base right here, you do see you've got that cord hook system here to keep that cord plugged in wherever you go with this corded blower. So I really love the design that you have there with those three blowers. Amazing capability with those corded blowers to easily get out there and get a lot of stuff cleaned up. And I love the fact that you have all three blowers there to get different jobs done. So I love the, I love the fact the putting greens there is focusing on the features that these blowers are really designed for. And that's the thing, is that you're going to focus on what you need. If you want to get a lot of drying done, if you want to get a lot of work done, the high CFM is really nice there. You need a lot of power, though, to get a lot of heavy stuff moved around. So, for example, if you have heavy leaves, then you're going to want that heavier power. And that's a really great thing that we have there in general with those options that you have there. You've got that nice lightweight beginner model right there with the SPJ597. That's perfect for getting just a lot of general purpose blowing done. If you really need that kick and power, the SPJ6 one that's an easy way to immediately upgrade but if you know that you want that high cfm output that jb 450 e it's a really great way to go as well so great to be able to put your put exactly what you need down in front of you there with all those blowers i love the options that we have right here i love that they make it that we make it easy there for you to pick exactly what you need so love the fact that we have that power love the fact that we have that capability with all of these blowers here so you can check it out we've got that jb 450 there the, the got the uh, sorry the jb 450 the SJB or SBJ uh, 5970 and the SBJ 601E. All three of those amazing quarter blowers up there. Really wonderful. A lot of power, a lot of CFM for a lot of those blowers as well. Now, we are going to flip-flop over to taking a look at cordless blowers in just one second right here. But before we do that, why don't we remind everyone, hey, if you're enjoying this, go ahead and tap in those likes. We appreciate all the likes that uh, Putting Greens have been sending in. But to everyone else out there watching on TikTok, tap in those likes. We do appreciate it here at the Go with jo or at, at Snow Joe Co. Not to mention the fact, too, if you're watching on YouTube, we want to see that thumbs up. And, of course, with that as well, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel at the Go with Joe channel on YouTube. And don't forget to follow us on TikTok at Snow Joe Co. Alrighty, now we're going to dive over to taking a look at our cordless blowers here, in which case I'm going to grab a couple of our 24 volt batteries here to sort of help us out because we've got three different cordless blowers set up down over here that we're going to begin to talk through in terms of the amount of power that we have here. So I'm going to come around over here and let's take a quick look at what we have options wise with our cordless blowers. We have three relatively, we have three relatively lightweight cordless blowers here all together. This guy right here, which is our 24 V WSB, this is what we call our workshop blower so as you can see we're looking at a relatively small blower right there we're not looking at something huge here very small and compact and of course super lightweight now we kick this up with our 24 v tb this is our turbine blower right here now this turbine blower here very light but gives us a lot of power and a lot of output particularly for a cordless blower and then of course right over here we've got the big guns when it comes to our cordless blowers here our 24 vx2 jb500 now what i'm what i'm saying 24 vx2 with this blower what i mean is that we're taking two 24 volt batteries ganging them together to get that 48 volt advantage so we'll take a look at that in one second right there now we're going to start off taking a look at the compact lightweight WSB right here. This is a super lightweight blower. It takes a single 24-volt battery to power it up. We're going to slide that right into the base right there. 
and we are ready to go, as you can see right here. This is one of the great things about this blower. It's convenient. It's easy to grab. This thing weighs in around three pounds right here. Easy to pick up and start blowing everything away right there. Now, you can see here that this is not a weakling blower. Because of that compact size and that powerful 400-watt motor that we have in there, we're putting out a serious 185 miles an hour worth of wind speed out of that nozzle right there. It's a lot of air that you have flowing out of there in terms of that speed. Now, in terms of the CFM that you're putting out here, you're putting out just around 180. You're putting out, uh, sorry, just around 90 CFM from this. So, actually, you're moving quite a bit of air for something with a relatively small size here. And this is actually really great for cleaning up a lot of different spaces. In fact, I use this all the time for cleaning up the workshop, uh, as the namesake says. But of course, I use it all the time in the yard and garden as well for cleaning off my patio furniture, cleaning off the deck debris, cleaning off any dust or anything like that that ends up in those spaces. Great for cleaning out your car as well. What's also great about this right here is that it comes with two dust collection bags. It even comes with an inflator nozzle kit, so you can use this to inflate your large inflatable goods, things like inflatable couches and recliners for the pool and things like that. And of course, the other great thing about this one, I talked about having those dust collection bags. It means that you can turn this into a vacuum by pulling off that nozzle right there, locking it in the side inlet here. And of course, it comes with those dust collection bags that tie into the front here so you can vacuum things up just like that. Love the capability to swap this one around here. This is a versatile sort of must-have cordless blower in my, uh, in my opinion right here. This is kind of the one that everyone out there could use just because of its convenience. Here's another great thing that I love about it too. It has a locking trigger, which means that when you turn Turn it on, it stays on. You don't have to hold it down. Really great thing about it because that way you can pick it up and you can sort of hold it in weird, weird angles. You're not going to get that cramp in your hand, but you can really sort of point this anywhere you need there. Now, one of the other great things about this, of course, as well, is you do have that high and low speed control here with that nice not with that nice switch right here. So you can control all the way up to 185 miles an hour, or we can snap that down to that lower 150 miles an hour for the output here. So nice to have that easy control there with that switch there. Love our workshop blower here. So convenient, so useful with this little tool here. But let's get the upgrade going here with our 24-volt turbine blower. Now, when it comes to a powerful, lightweight beast, this is also one of my absolute favorites. And you can see just how light this is. Again, at weighing in at roughly three pounds here. Easy to maneuver, easy to take that battery and slide that in there and power up this amazing beast here. Now this puts out an incredible 100 miles an hour with bear speed and a really impressive 280 CFM out of that jet tube here. You can see right there, we've got that large opening of air right there. Look at that, you've got that nice wide opening right there. You can see that turbine in there, two, two inch port that we have out here. And uh, we've got that nice incredible amount of power that we have right here with this blower to get everything going here for this amazing design here because we're putting out 100 miles an hour worth of wind speed with this. And all we have to do is kick that switch on just like that. You can hear that power screaming on here. We're talking about a lot of air flowing out through this, uh, enough to move my hair, which it takes a lot of air to do so every day. Um, we're talking about a lot of air coming out of a super lightweight tool. And I like the sleek design that we have here. This is really great for cleaning up in a lot of those areas in your garden, in your driveways, and your walkways. What's great about this as well is when you're getting into those tighter spots, particularly behind plants and stuff like that, you have that long sleek design to get into those tight crevices over there. So one of the great things uh, about this blower here is that we're getting all that power going out. We've got all that capability when it comes to cleaning up of everything in those areas with that lightweight so you just grab it and kind of go design that you have here and again the great thing about this is that kind of power that you have right at the onset as well remember you're moving 100 miles an hour 280 cfm with a super light i mean this weighs in at less than a at less than four pounds here you can see i can just sort of handle this around wherever i want to go get everything cleaned up with this blower right here. Really amazing design that we have right here with this awesome turbine blower here. Definitely check that out, our 24VTB. Now we're gonna, we're gonna step this up one more time here. When we need a real lot of power here, we're gonna take two 24 volt batteries to power up. And we've got this right here with our JB500. This is our incredible jet blower that we have right here that puts out that 48 volt advantage into that Airstream here. So take that 24 volt battery and slide one in the back here. And on the other side, you're going to have another port for the second battery, just like that. And now what we have is a 48 volt advantage. Now we're putting out a serious amount of power here with this blower. We are moving an incredible amount of air here. We're moving all the way up to over 150, 160 miles an hour worth of airspeed with this blower. It even has a built-in turbo mode for it. We've also got an incredible amount of air 
flowing through this. We are looking at just around a 300 CFM, or just I believe actually it's just a little bit more right there um, to get a lot done here. So really, really great, uh, really, really great when it comes to getting a lot done with this amazing machine here. Oh, now I got a great quiz, couple of questions here coming in from Putting Greens. I got the chat set up down over here, so excuse me if I'm looking to the side there. Now you can see over here um, from Putting Greens saying, all right, okay, one of the batteries that we have here that we're talking about, they look a little different than the ones you have with your uh, bucket pressure washer. All right, so the bucket pressure washer is gonna come with our four amp hour batteries. These are the two amp hour batteries that you see right here, these gray batteries. These are the compact lightweight batteries that we have here. These are smaller, they're a little bit lighter. They don't get, they're not gonna have as much runtime, particularly for the blowers here. It's gonna be perfect for them to keep them light, to keep them maneuverable, and to give you plenty of runtime when it comes to getting the job done. Your four amp hour batteries, which are the blue ones, which are a little bit bigger than these here, they're gonna work in the same way. And you're gonna actually see, we've got some blue batteries behind us here. We're gonna plug those in as well. You're gonna see that they all work interchangeably there. So no worries about that there. Now uh, you're saying, uh, need those for cleaning the workshop uh, or the warehouse, how much are they all right so for that workshop blower we've got some we've got great deals going on for these compact blowers right here um i believe right now on the site these are in the uh, these are in the uh, uh the 129 range with the battery and the charger now here's my recommendation right now i believe through sort of all the different places that we're selling we're selling stuff through you can check it out on amazon right now on amazon i believe it's 69.99 for that blower and that is with the battery there so Here's my recommendation to you, Putting Greens. Join us at the Joe Show live on Amazon. That's one of the other shows that we host um, in terms of our live streams. It's 11 a.m. Eastern time uh, that we're going to be live tomorrow on Amazon Live. Head over to the Sun Joe store page on Amazon. You'll be able to see the live stream there. And you'll be able to join us and hang out with us and talk about this kind of stuff there um, because that way you can take a look at that blower. That's a really great value that we have there. And don't worry, we'll keep that ready for you there if you want to take a look at them. Um, but great value in general for them. An incredible, incredible design that we have here with this big piece of blower. Now take a look at this here. Up at the top here, we've got our on and off button here. So this button allows us to turn everything on and off here. We've also got our turbo mode button right here to kick up that speed. And over here on the side, we have our nice little lever here that helps us adjust the amount of output that we have there. So that's our speed control there. Up at the front of the blower over here, we do have that reducer nozzle there, which we can take off if we want that higher airflow here, depending on what we want to use here. So nice to have that higher airflow control there. Nice to have that reducer nozzle for a little extra speed there as needed. And you can see right here with the power, we're talking about a lot of power with this blower. Well, here's, let's take a listen to how this ramps up here. We're going to power this on with that cordless design right there. So we're staying cordless here with this blower. So we'll turn everything on there. You can hear things turn on. You can hear that motor ramp up as I kick that speed up here. Lots of power there. Let's turbo mode this. All right. Now, I know that was quite close to the uh, quite close to the microphone there. So hopefully everyone understood the incredible amount of power that you have flowing through this cordless 48 volt blower right there. That is a ton. And I mean a ton of power that you have right here in this compact 48 volt blower. Now, it stays pretty lightweight here as well. Just around seven pounds with both of those batteries in. This is easy to carry around, easy to point where you need right here, and easy to go anywhere you want with an incredible, and I mean an incredible amount of power right here when it comes to a jet blower. So a really great way to get a lot of stuff cleaned up, a really easy way to get everything cleaned up in the yard and garden there. As you can tell, this is a powerful blower to do those big heavy tasks, moving all the leaves out of the way, clearing all of the grass clippings, clearing so much stuff. This is a powerful way to clean it all up. Definitely one of my favorite go-to blowers that we have right here with our 24VX2 JB500. It's that power of that 48 volt advantage there. Now, We've been talking about these blowers here, you know, in terms of the power that these ones have here as just blowers. Now, what's great about, you know, just having those blowers around is that they're very useful for getting a lot of stuff cleaned up. And really great, of course, for the leaves, really great for everything out there. But when it comes to the leaves specifically, sometimes you want to do more. Sometimes you actually want to step that up to doing more than just cleaning up leaves. And we actually have some options here for that in terms of what are you gonna do with those leaves? And this right here is the selection that we have in front of us here for cleaning up the leaves themselves and feeding those leaves into the garden here. So not just cleaning them up, but actually turning them into something that you can feed into the garden here. These are our collection of what we call blower vac mulchers. So we're taking it from just being a blower, turning it into a vacuum and also giving a built-in mulching factor to that vacuum here. So you can see all three of the ones that we have up here are that three-in-one style. 
Now, I'm going to say one other big thing about the blowers that we have here across the lineup is that we have many more blowers and many more blower vac mulchers there available in our lineup on snowjo.com. So head over to snowjo.com, take a look at the options that you have in the blower section there to get everything cleaned up. Because the reason that we have so many options here is that for different strokes, different or for different folks, we got to have different strokes because you have those different things that you may need to do. In the case of uh, putting greens in the chat there, you know, cleaning off and drying off the car there, high CFM is a priority. But when it comes to moving heavy, wet leaves, for example, like you might have to do in certain areas, like in Upper Connecticut, for example, that's going to be a great way to hit with a high-powered blower. Or if you have a lot of leaves in general there, you're going to want to be able to blow or vac mulch like you have, like, well, you, like you have right here. And that's the thing that I think is really what matters here is having all those options available at your fingertips. And all you have to do is head over to snowjoe.com to check them all out. Now, before we dive into the blower vac mulchers here and everything that we're talking about with them, why don't we uh, why don't we remind everyone out there, if you're enjoying what you're seeing right now, go ahead and give us those likes. I see, uh, let's see, I see Queen Lauren in the chat there sending in the likes here on TikTok. Really do appreciate. Keep tapping in those likes. We love seeing the likes here. Not to mention, too, on YouTube, if you're watching the stream on YouTube, give us that thumbs up. And don't forget to follow us here on TikTok at SnowJoeCo and follow us here on YouTube at the, jo at the Go With Joe channel. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button to the Go With Joe channel on YouTube, folks. And don't forget, too, as I was explaining to Putting Greens earlier, we do wonderful live streams on Amazon Live as well. We get to talk about some of the great deals we have for some of these blowers on our Amazon store page as well. So we have a lot of fun over there. You can always check that out at 11 a.m. Eastern time every single week. Call that the Joe Show Live. You can head over there and take a look at what we're talking about over there. All righty, now let us dive into what we have here with our blower vac mulchers. And these have significantly more sort of things going on with them because when it comes to the CFM that these that these have right here, we're talking about not just the air that they push, but also that the air that they pull in terms of the amount of air that these machines move right here. So we're going to start off with the first one here, and this one's one of my favorites. This is our corded SPJ 702E. This is a lightweight, compact, but also extending blower vac mulcher right here. Look at that. This blower vac mulcher gives us that full extension down to the ground. You can see it's got those wheels there. And here's something that I love about this design right here. This is what we call our two-in-one blower vac mulcher design as you can see here that blower tube and the vac tube are in one section here we don't have to take the blower tube off to replace it with a vac tube or vice versa these are both the tubes that we need here to get the blower uh, to get the blower uh, jobs done as well as the vacuum jobs done and this is an extendable design as you can see right here because this can shorten up very easily now this powers up with a serious serious 12 amp motor here and puts out an incredible amount of airspeed here with this awesome design right here we're talking about uh 250 miles an hour worth of airspeed coming out of this blower here to get a lot of stuff cleaned up but what's also great about this blower vac mulcher design is of course the mulching capability and the three 390 CFM that this thing pulls in here. As this vacuums up those leaves, that mulcher, which is the impeller blade that you see here, is going to shred those leaves up at an 8 to 1 reduction ratio, meaning that every 8 bags of leaves that you vacuum up here, you're going to shred them down to 1 bag of leaves. And it's going to collect them in that nice large 9-gallon collection bag that you have down below here, which is why this comes with that shoulder strap there. So you can throw it across your body, you can throw it across your shoulder, and you're not going to have that bag dragging down on the floor. But what you can bring down to the floor is that vacuum tube here. If we bring this vacuum tube all the way down to the ground over here, one of the things that you can see there is that those wheels right there become a great way to roll this around like a traditional vacuum might on the ground here. So you can see here that we can vacuum up those leaves exactly like that using those roller wheels. Really, really wonderful with that here. And one of the other things that I love about this is this has that built-in 8 to 1 reduction ratio, but it also has an, it has an adjustment for that impeller right over here. You can see that little top knob right there. You can actually adjust the sizing of that. Uh, we can adjust the sizing of that shredding capability using that impeller knob right there. And of course, that collection bag at the bottom here is detachable so we can pour out all those leaves. Adjustable top handle, as you see here as well, which I really like, nice and comfortable here. I love that nice holding capability that you have for it right here with that dual handle capability for it. And of course, I love the extending design that you have right here to keep things nice and compact when you want there or extend out here. So you can see right under my finger right over here, 
we've got that little notch right in there that allows us to extend or shrink up there. So we've got those locking positions here and we can use that notch to shorten everything up or to extend things out there. So really nice to be able to compact that up just like that. Really great blower vac mulch design here. And one more trick up the sleeve here when it comes to vacuuming everything up. If we look at the vacuum portion up at the front over here, here's a little cool deal that we have right here. When you're picking up things like wet leaves and you need to agitate them out of the grass there, all you have to do is turn this knob. You can see this little mini rake pops out here. We can lock that in place there and we can actually use that to scrape up those leaves as we're vacuuming up there. Really great way to give that assistance to that high powered system there. Now, keeping in the traditions there of our awesome two-in-one design here with that blower vac mulcher and that design that we where you have that two-in-one sort of that two-in-one sort of tool there without having to change tubes. We have our 24 VX2 BVM 143 here. So as I put this off to the side here, and we'll just put that off there so we can kind of see that I've talked about that. We're going to talk about this one right over here. Now, this is a really powerful blower vac mulcher that we have here to get a lot of work done with as well. Here you can see we've got that two-in-one blower tube here. Not an extendable one, but you can see that we have that two-in-one system here where we're not having to change out that blower tube. And the way that we do this for both that blower, the SPJ702E and our 24VX2 uh, BVM143 here, is that if you look on the side right here, to adjust between the blower mode and the vac mode, there's going to be a lever on the side here that you're going to swap into blower mode or into vac mode. It's as simple as that. You, you put that nice little blower mode in there and snap into the vac mode there. I see Caden in the chat there saying, nice, loving the blower design right there. I think talking about that rake on the uh, previous blower there and i see bonnie from uh from fnaf in the chat saying hi welcome in uh, how's how's it going folks welcome into the show here love hearing from you folks definitely if you're enjoying hearing all the talk that we're doing here about blower vac mulchers right now we're talking about blower vac mulchers in the lineup we're kind of doing that buying guide on those different blowers depending on what you need we wanted to give you a guide here for all the blowers that we have in the lineup or all the kinds of blowers that we have in the lineup. We're talking about nine out of uh, an incredible amount of blowers that we have in our uh, in our Sunjo lineup here. We want to make sure that you folks know exactly what kind of features that you can look for with these blowers. Now, with the blower that we're talking about here, this is what we call a blower vac mulcher. So once again, blowing the leaves away, vacuuming them up here with that dual with that dual capability we have here, that vac tube up top, the blower tube down below, and the ability to shred those leaves up as it mulches through the impeller here and to turn those leaves into that mulch that you can feed into your garden. That's a really great thing here. So you can take those leaves, shred them up, and turn them into mulch that you can feed to get your garden growing with. Now, with this blower that we have right here, we're putting out an incredible 150 miles an hour worth of airspeed with this design. 150 miles an hour, 390 CFM that we're pulling here with this, as well as pouring out in terms of air. We're moving a lot of air when it comes to this blower right here. There's almost 400 CFM that we have coming out of this. We have that powerful 150 mile an hour airspeed pouring out of it as well. Once again, we have that vacuuming capability with those wheels there to roll this down and to get those vacuum leaves up easily there with that roller head there. Really love that. Really makes that vacuuming easy. We have that shoulder strap capability here as well. That shoulder strap's really nice for helping us keep our collection bag off of the ground there you can see that collection bag right there for that nine gallons of leaf collection there remember we have an eight to one reduction ratio with this blower as well now this blower unlike the corded blower that we have over here powers up with our 48 volt system that means we take two 24 volt batteries to power it up and i've got two of our four amp hour batteries that come in the kit here to power up this blower here so these are two of our larger high uh, high capacity batteries here and these power up on the back of this blower vac mulcher here so we spin this around here. You can see on the back of the blower vac mulcher here, we have a dual port system there to give us that high power output here. Take that 24 volt battery, you're gonna slide one onto one side just like this, lock that in place there. And on the other side of the port right there, we're gonna take that other 24 volt battery, slide that in and lock that into place right there. And now you have a powerful output for this blower to get a lot cleaned up. Not only do you have that incredible amount of power that you have coming out of this blower, but you also have that nice five speed roller control up on the top here. So to power this up, all you have to do is rock that knob forward there and go through the numbers up until five there to get that power. It's just very simple here with that five speed control. As you rock that up to give you that, uh, that high output with this blower, you can hear that power there all the way up to 150 miles an hour with that five speed, <laughs> that's five, five speed knob there. 
Really great design and control that you have here with this blower vac mulcher to get everything cleaned up in the yard and garden there. So love that capability that you have with that. Again, once again, this is a great capability to tackle all the leaves that you have out in the yard and garden and turn them into something that you can feed back into your own ecosystem there. So really great design here with the blower vac mulcher. Love this sort of two-in-one um, non-switching tube design, but for those who do want the ability to switch those tubes up here we have that uh we have that blower for you now we can put this off to the side right here because one of the differences that you're going to get between a blower vac mulcher that has that dual tube functionality is that they're a little bit physically bulkier because you're going to have that vac tube always connected and that might be really really nice for those of us that do a lot of leaf collection again in the northeast here you know a lot of leaves kind of end up around on the ground all year round particularly in the north or northeast so this is a perfect way to tackle all of that all at the same time and to get a lot of power there again you want that power to move those heavy things and these not only have a lot of cfm in terms of that 398 cfm for example for the bvm 143 right here tons of air flowing through there at a high 150 mile hour speed now let's take a look right here this is our 24 vx2 bvm 190 so this goes all the way up to about 190 miles an hour worth of airspeed pouring out of this blower right here now this is again powered up by that 48 volt advantage so two of those four amp hour batteries are going to come in the kit here to power up this blower here but this is going to give us that sort of blower function and then and back mulcher function as we need there so you can see here much more compact much more uh much more sort of uh, much more sort of like standard size here for a blower when it comes to powering it up here we can throw that battery in one on that side one on the other side right here just like so you got that dual 48 volt advantage here with this blower as well and you can see this is a nice compact easy blower to, to carry around get that nice two handle control here to blow everything away we've got that nice dual style blower tube right here so we can shorten this up as needed here look at that we've got uh we've got that two-piece blower tube here nice compact design for the blower here and particularly i like being able to shorten it up if i want to get into a tight space there for example really great 48 volt cordless blower that you have here in this design um, love the fact too that on the side of the switch here you get your power switch on top but you do have your six speed rocker knob there once again to control your speed so great to have that power switch and have that speed control there so really great with this to get a lot of air flowing out of this amazing blower here Here's one of the great things, though, is that with a blower that's nice and compact like this, we can turn this into a vac mulcher as well. And it's as simple and easy as this. All we have to do is detach that blower tube. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to hit that top button right there and pull that blower tube off. So very simple to detach it and sort of set things up there. We'll pull that off just like so, just like that. And now what we can do, in fact, actually, before I start opening this up and take out that 24 volt battery to make sure that we're staying safe here. So I'll pull out that 24 volt battery here. And you notice already one of the things about this blower vac mulcher, there's a second handle in the back here. So that when you're holding it in that vac mulcher mode there, you've got that second handle for that comfort. And we'll see how that, let's see how that works here. Now on the bottom of the, on the bottom of the blower machine right here, you can see we've got this panel here and we've got this button on the top here. You're gonna hit that button just like so. That's gonna pop open that little port there that folds open like this. You can see that impeller there. This gives us that eight to one reduction ratio and keeps those leaves shredded up right there. That's that automatic shredding you're going to get there now what we're going to do is we're going to take our vacuum tube that you see right here you can see the way that this ports in here we're going to lean that bottom piece in and then we're going to bring that up and lock that into place where it locked our flap there so you got that nice button to lock everything in place there love how easy that is there now you can see how this looks like a vac mulcher now we can take that collection bag which is right here on the end of the collection bag is a port that is exactly the same as our blower port here so we're going to lock that into place just like so and of course, we can attach that bag underneath to the bottom of that vac tube over here to turn this into our cordless vac mulcher here. Let me just get this nice and set up here. And there we go, we'll slide that in, and there we go. We've got that cordless vac mulcher going here with this design. So particularly if you have fewer leaves to vacuum up here, but you still want that cordless, super powerful, near 200 mile output from a cordless blower, this is the one that's gonna give you that extra kick of power and also take away that need for you to always have that vac mulcher sort of bulkiness on the side here. Now, once again, we are getting that incredible, incredible mulching capability, that eight to one reduction ratio. So if you eat up eight bags, of leaves here it's going to shred it down to one bag of leaves get nine gallons of collection in the bag there get that powerful control here you get that 48 volt advantage there and you have that incredible 300 cfm for the vacuuming suction right here so a lot of power when it comes to this as well and that comes from that 48 volt advantage where we take those two 24 volt batteries power them together to give you that 48 volt kickstart right there to really get a lot of stuff cleaned up here and a 
again, folks, all of these options here are on snowjo.com. You can take a look at all the different options they have right here to get everything cleaned up. Whether it's a blower vac mulcher that you see here like this, or whether it's one of the other blowers that we've been talking about here. So to recap all the different things that we're talking about here in general, we've talked about blower vac mulchers here in our corded and cordless variety. Here's a cordless one with our 48 volt advantage. Here's one with the same cordless capability, but with that two in one design, that blower tube is still attached there. Absolutely love that as well. Love having those kinds of options there for getting everything cleaned up. We've got a lot of stuff going on here. I'm gonna start putting some blower vac mulches on the ground right here, um, just to keep everything looking nice and tidy over here. And you can see we also talked about our corded blower vac mulcher here, the SPJ702E, nice and compact with this one. As you can see here as well, on the cord right here, we have one really important feature on our corded blowers, and this goes for all of our corded blowers, including this blower vac mulcher here. We have that nice cord hook. This little hook right here allows us to to tie in our electrical cord to make sure it never comes unplugged when we're using the tool there. Really important feature when it comes to a cordless blower there, makes it super versatile to go anywhere in the yard and garden. Now we went on to, before that we went on talking about our purely cordless blowers here that we have over here. Things like our 24 volt workshop blower, our JB500 and our 24 volt jet blow, our turbine blower here. So really great design here with that compact lightweight blower that we have right there. Our also very lightweight design right here for our jet blower here. And of course that turbine blower that we have over here, or sorry, the, the turbine blower there and the jet blower right here, that jet blower right here, nice and powerful, super lightweight and takes again that 48 volt advantage for the two batteries in the back there to give us that incredible kick of power. And prior to all of that, we talked about our corded blowers over here, the standards that a lot of folks are going to go to here for that corded power, you know, particularly if you're doing stuff interiorly and a lot of workshops and a lot of small backyards and patios here, corded blowers offer a ton of power for the value right there. For example, our, SB, our SBJ 5970, 150 miles an hour worth of output, a blower that weighs only a couple of pounds right here, super, super lightweight, or you can kick it up in either speed or air. This is our jet blower right here. That jet blower produces up to 440 CFM. And you can see right here, a little bit chunkier, a little bit, uh, you know, a little bit wider here, but gives us all that airflow, 440 CFM for about 135 miles an hour there. Or we can go over to the SBJ 601 e 215 miles an hour with the 10 amp electric motor in here. And of course, that uh, so a little closer to a sort of regular, uh, you know, 280 CFM that you got coming out of this blower right here. So you have that control, high speed, high air here to give you that capability to pick exactly what you need there. You got heavy leaves you want to move, go with the high speed. You got a lot of things to do, go with the high air, particularly if you're doing putting greens in the chat there was talking about before, which is drying things off. You know, if you're doing the professional car drying, I would go with this right here. Now, if you don't want a corded model like the JB450 right there, I would take a look at the BV, at the JB, uh, the JB500 over here, sorry. That awesome jet blower that we have on the end over here that offers a ton of CFM here in terms of this design right here, but also that cordless capability. This is a really powerful solution for cleaning up a lot of stuff. This is one of my favorites right here to get a lot of work done with. And of course, if you want the lighter option, my personal recommendation, other than the workshop blower, is the turbine blower right here. This does so much work in so many different spaces and because of how lightweight it is weighing in at less than uh, uh weighing in at less than four pounds right there you can just see how easy this is to maneuver here with how light it is you're talking about a blower here that can do so much for you in so many different places so i absolutely love the design that we have right here with our 24v turbine blower there and of course when it comes to blower vac mulchers i'll tell you the between the three I love all of these. These are all great designs. The corded one here is wonderful because of that extendable design that we have right there. Love that capability that it has right there. Love the power that we have right here with the 12 amp electric motor in there. But I also love the power that you have with this blower right here, the BVM 190, uh, that 190 miles an hour coming out of this with that 48 volt advantage is pretty amazing. But the perfect balance for me is our awesome 24 VX2 BVM 143, which is this blower vac mulcher right in front of us here. And the reason is like this blower here, we've got that dual port design here where we've got both of the blower or the blower and the vac tube attached at the same time. We don't have to swap them out to get the work done there. And of course, the other thing that I love about this is that high power output with the cordless 48 volt system. Again, two 24 volt batteries coming together to give us that 48 volt output there. Really amazing, powerful output from a blower vac mulcher like this. Alrighty, folks. So that's been a pretty 
a pretty great rundown of a lot of the blowers that we have here in the lineup. Um, you know, we even have more on snowjo.com and you can take a look uh, for those blowers. If you ever have any questions, if there's anything out there that you want to know, let us know in the chat. We love hearing from you. We love hearing what you have to, what you have to say, what you're thinking out there. If you're watching on YouTube, you can always leave that comment there. We'll always read them. Not to mention too, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to go with Joe channel. If you're watching on TikTok, we appreciate all the likes you send in there. And don't forget to tap those likes in if you enjoy this. Not to mention as well, don't forget to follow us here on TikTok at Snowjoe Co. And of course, if you have any other questions about these tools here and you want to see some of them in use, we always have a great show going on every every day, Monday through Friday there on Amazon Live. Where we talk about all these tools and some of the great deals we have for them on Amazon Live. You can head over to the Sunjo store page on Amazon Live. You can check out, uh, check out the Joe Show Live over there. Got a lot of fun that we do over there. And of course, we'll be talking about the tools we have great deals going on for on Amazon.com. But you can always check out these tools here at snowjo.com as well for some other great deals. And we've got some great options here for getting everything cleaned up in the yard and garden. Let us know if you have any questions in the chat there, folks. And folks, we do appreciate being able to hang out with you here, being able to talk about all these great tools don't forget to join us at all those different places online there. And folks, we've had a lot of fun talking about blowers here. Again, um, we'll probably we'll probably talk a little more about them. We've got a couple of different options here in terms of you know other ways to get the blower vacuuming and mulching done. So again, let us know in the chat if there's any other questions that you have there. Alrighty, folks, I do want to say a big thank you to everyone out there for joining us here on the stream. Big thank you to everyone out there for saying hi in the chat, hanging out with us here. And folks, when it comes to getting to the when it comes to getting all the leaf blowing jobs that you need done, I think you know where to go. Head over to snowjoe.com, check it all out, and we will see you all in the next stream. All right, see you later, folks.